Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. This is my first usage or first opportunity to use the creative products. The creative products knockout tool. So I found a way to carry all the pieces without putting the nuts and bolts in a bag. Um, I put the set screws inside one of them upside down inside the pocket socket there and the other one through the hole and then I ran these set screws in so that it holds everything in and it holds it all in keeps it all together you have to put the rod in backwards and then put your set screws in there but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it set up on this blower that doesn't want to just slide off I may not need to use it but it won't just slide off so I'm gonna see how it works on this one I believe I've got a coarse thread um, fixture so that stores in there that's the fine thread maybe it's fine let me double check the piece that's in there or that came out now that's coarse thread for sure so we're going to use the coarse thread which is stored right there and all I have to do is slide it out of that pocket and uh, we're ready to go. I don't know that I will need this collar or not. Maybe. Yeah. So that collar, the large socket of the collar, is the one we're going to use for this. That's going to line up with the set screw over there and then we'll get the rod out we'll set this down nice and easy see if we can line it up I think that's the hardest part about using this on a blower is the uh, fact that it can be hard to line up since you can't see you can't see anything I think it's getting ready to thread, but I want to go ahead and get my other set screws tightened up. And then we'll see if we can get that to tighten up. I think I'm just going to use my channel locks to grab the fitting. Tighten it. I think that's probably tight enough. These ones have got a little bit of gnarling on the outside of the nut. And we're just going to snug those up a little bit. took a little rotary brush to the shaft since I couldn't find my aerocoil 
my loosening oil and it moves I just wouldn't couldn't get it to break loose so we'll drop the push rod in there set this away so it doesn't start bouncing around this goes. Done. That was easy. Only took a couple of whacks. Didn't hurt the tip there. And if I had to use the shaft again, I'm in good shape. You can see that uh, I took some of the rust off with the wire brush to help it come loose. So I guess that's an alternative to using penetrating oil would be to wire brush it a little bit. If you had to reuse the shaft, you know, a little too much wire brush could be bad, but since I'm getting a new motor for this particular application, it won't matter. So, I'd have to say I give it a good thumbs up. I can't uh, fault it for its capabilities. Something like that would have been a good bit of aggravation to try to do with any puller, and this one made it pretty quick. So, anyway, I'm going to take this motor back for warranty and we'll get this customer back up and running thanks for watching like subscribe comment and share and we'll see you on the next video check out iBleedR22.com my new HVACR forum and my website at www HVAC with Stephen Reardon.com. Don't forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at TrueTechTools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching.